Um, and I'm happy to introduce now to you Hartmut Wimmer, and he's talking um, about uh, digitalization, the digital destination. This is your point. The Thank stage you. is yours. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let me start with a little video to introduce Outdoor Active, uh, and this is... Uh, Imagine a place where you can find everything for your next outdoor adventure. Where you always know where you are, where to go next, and what to expect. A place to meet people and share your experiences online, anytime, on any device. This place is Outdoor Active. Plan your trip tailored to your personal needs, or just get inspired by recommendations and tips. For you, we create the world's largest digital platform for outdoor tourism. And we bring everyone involved together. Thousands of partners are part of the Outdoor Active platform. We take all the data they provide and work it into one powerful information and technology ecosystem available to everyone at any time. We support destinations in creating the best information products for their visitors. We build smart location-based information and booking services for hotel owners and tour operators. We provide a unique geo-based marketplace for the digital content publishers. Facilities use our data to maintain trails and signs, so you don't get lost. Every piece of data in our system has a geo-reference. That gives us the power to match any content to a location, an activity, or the personal preferences of any community member. And we don't stop there. Our developers are constantly thinking ahead creating new products and services based on the vast amounts of data generated in the Outdoor Active ecosystem. Together with our partners, we are not just digitizing outdoor tourism. We are defining its future. For so this is our mission. So we are building the world's uh, greatest uh, digital travel guides together with our partners and our partners are mainly the tourism destinations but also many others like travel operators or um, guidebook companies uh, and finally of course the community this is us we are a 15 years old company based in south of germany and we are about 100 people working with enthusiasm to uh, digitalize the world and bring all the outdoor and the tourism information to those who need it. And uh, we have uh, customers in about 20 countries already and uh, location-based people in, uh, of our company in about 11 countries. And uh, we are strong believers in, in that everything is going to be digital. And, uh, but it, in the moment, all our clients and all in all our discussions and also in, in the ITB here, there are so many things that you could do at the moment. It's very hard to decide in which uh, direction you want to go. It's almost like planning a trip with uh, analog material and not having a digital uh, information. And I'm, I'm going to um, talk about the three uh, major uh, trends or three major problems that uh, appear at the moment. And this is uh, the losing uh, um, attention, actually, because there is so much uh, information out there, so many websites, and the tourism destinations websites are not relevant anymore, and very few users are uh, visiting the DMO's websites and everybody has a great website, everybody has a lot of content, every destination is the greatest hiking destination, so it's so much competition out of there and it's very hard to, to get the attention of the users. And there's also something big change coming that we all feel 
Um, it's uh, a thing that I call always the fourth revolution of the Internet. The first one was the Internet itself more than 30 years ago. And the second one was the search engines. So Google had the 20th anniversary shortly before. And uh, 10 years ago, uh, the mobile devices, or 11 years ago now, um, have been introduced. And now the, uh, it's all the, the um, human um, or personal interfaces, uh, the conversational interfaces, and the data-driven stuff, and the AI stuff. These are all things that are happening right now. And um, these are the, the brands that we have heard of and they are discussed. And uh, you can ask these systems uh, very complex questions. So it's like talking to a human. You are talking to machines in the future and you ask complex questions. And these questions could be answered by the technology already if they have the, the data to answer uh, questions uh, like this. And uh, it's uh, d very different because you don't have screens anymore. You are talking directly to the database and you ask a question and you get an answer. But you get just only one answer and uh, you do not get 300,000 results when you search for something. And the question is how these players are gathering all this data and put it into one machine. And uh, the second thing that we are facing with is uh, the, the brands are losing trust. So it's uh, because everybody is uh, going to the platforms. Nobody uh, is believing uh, advertising information anymore. And um, this is a lot of uh, brand thing. So where is the differentiation between one DMO or one destination to the other? And uh, marketing is always like marketing and uh, people do not want to have marketing materials. They want to have information. They want to have re recommendations. And um, this appears that uh, marketing, as we have all learned it and uh, as we have all practice, practiced it uh, in the past 20 years, doesn't work anymore. And uh, I have tried this with my, with my kids. These are my kids. And I've asked them how they get the information. The first thing is they only have a a phone. They do not have desktop computers anymore. And uh, second thing, these are the apps that they use. There's some more, but these are the apps that they use. And if, if the information is not within one of these apps, it's not existing. And uh, if, if a destination or a, a brand or something doesn't look good there, um, they will not travel there. And this is a, a thing that you can just see how you will reach the audience in the future, because all the things that we have done in the past will not reach my kids. So all the marketing channels, all the marketing materials, all the things that we are used to will not reach my kids. You cannot attract them with marketing. You can only attract them with uh, recommendations from their friends, with good content, with presence in all the platforms. This is how you can reach them. And uh, the third thing that we are um, facing is uh, the impact on the residents. So we have been all doing more and more marketing to, to get more and more guests in the destinations. And there are already some cities that uh, try to not receive, not get uh, as many guests anymore. So they do actually the opposite thing of marketing. And um, it's, it's not only an issue in the big cities, it's also an issue in all tourism destinations, more or less, and they will all come to the same problem, where we, to the same point where we have the problem. And I have uh, been talking a lot to this guy here from the ATTA. It's an um, adventure travel organization from the USA. And I have borrowed this slide from him. He used it in, this pre in his presentation. It really shows the difference between the, the, the standard tourists, the cruise tourists, and the, and the individual traveler. Um, how many of these travelers do you need to, to, to get a uh, local economic uh, advantage of $10,000 in this case? And you, you see this ratio. And uh, it's not a, a matter of many tourists to, to bring to a destination. It's finally a matter 
which sort of tourists and how quality, uh, what quality you get and how much money do they spend there and uh, what impact do they bring to the destination. And um, I was uh, traveling to, to, a, uh, to a very famous place in Norway when I spent uh, my holidays uh, last year. They, are, they have been uh, doing their marketing on their website for 10 years with this place, it's a pulpit rock. And um, it's always pictured like this, it will be a re really great place. And when I traveled there, it was in the fall season and it looked like this. So, and I have never seen such a big parking lot. So it's, it's millions of people are visiting this place because they always have make, uh, made ma uh, their advertising on this. Um, and, on, and there are about 10 places which are totally crowded and they have really big problems uh, in these places. And at the same time, um, it's uh, in some places looking like this and in some other places looking like this. And the problem is how do we get the people from there to the place uh, where they are waiting for people. And this is a phenomenon. Some, at, at some places we already have over tourism, at some places we still try to, to receive more guests. And uh, what could be a solution? Uh, I think it's uh, a thing that we have to decide. We have to make some decisions. And one, one is uh, going with a bit platforms. So it's not famous in Germany, but it's really the, the way how uh, they make marketing in other countries. They are going with the big platforms and they, they give them money. They put all their content and their uh, marketing uh, budget to, to these platforms and they reach probably about 80% of the mankind through the platforms and they try to look good on every platform. Um, I think it's not the thing that we are doing here in Europe and I think it's not the best way to do it at all. It's rather better to switch on the driver's seat and do your things by yourself. And uh, the solution that we are building is uh, we are focusing on the user. We make the best solution for the user from all the customer journey, from the inspiration, the ideas, to the trip planning, and so on, th through all the, all the uh, steps of, of, a, of a journey. And uh, to do this, it's uh, actually more than this. It's, it's, uh, we have to focus on the, on the experience a user has. And the experience is not only the dig digital experience, it's mostly the, the, the experience while traveling. But these two together are the complete experience, and we have to care about that. And to, to care about that, it's how do we this digitalization, we are telling it like this, you first have the information of the world, which we call a travel guide. And on the other hand side, we have the guest. This is a traveler, which we also want to digitalize. And in the middle, we have some processes, the guest, how, how does the guest use the information? And uh, the information is, this is our structure. We have a lot of different content types, and each one is uh, very sophisticated to really bring the right information to the, to the guest. And uh, in, the, in the middle of the process, this is all the things that we know. How do we get the content? How do we search? How do we travel? How do we pay? And all of these services have to be digitalized to get the guest to the information and finally through his travel. And on the, on the right hand side, we have the guest. And, and there are a, a lot of things that we want to know about the guest. So we want to know how old he is, how much money he, they earn, and uh, where will they travel next? Where have they been last year at the same time? So this is all the personal interest, all the data about the guest. And we, will, we want to receive the data. It's a matter of the GDPR, of course. We have to ask the guest, but if we do the right thing, we get the data, and then we can build a much better service. And this is what we have produced in the past 15 years. This is our data model. And some, sometimes it's called like knowledge graph or link data or open data, whatever. It is data. It's structures, structurized data. And they, all these elements are linked um, with each other. And this is also a thing that we are 
right now changing. So the website itself, so it was always a website in the center of the, of the thinking and of the doing of the tourism destinations. And uh, they filled the website with different sorts of, of data. And now we are changing it. So in the center is not the website anymore, it's a database. And we first of all focus on the database. We fill the database with each sort of data. And then the website is just one channel to distribute the data, to visualize the data, but it's only one channel. The other channel could be the app or something else. And uh, the main thing to change is not thinking in projects anymore or buying products. Um, and uh, the main mistake and the most common mistake is developing software. And I also consider a, a website which you program with an agency or yourself as developing software. And I think it's a waste of time and a waste of effort because there are tools you can use and tools to rent and uh, nobody is caring about your, your website in the future. So, and uh, you, you first of all has, have also to change your, your leadership within your destination. You have to work together, you have to collaborate and you have to break up the silos that you can uh, bring everybody to, to the point uh, contributing to your database and to, to your digital destination. And um, so when you think in data, you can also put the user in, uh, back again in the center of your, um, of your effort. And uh, this screen is also working uh, when the lady is in the weekend or sleeping during the night. So it's a perfect situation having the database and uh, having the database to, to all interfaces uh, to consume the data. And this is how marketing has to change. Um, we are used to make a sender-based marketing. So we are producing content and distribute the content into any channels, to any personas, into a whatever picture that we want to, to see the user to consume our content. But this is not the reality anymore. We have to change it into, um, remember my kids, you cannot receive them with sending content out. You, can, you have to wait for them to search for content. And uh, if, you, if you are doing a really good job, you can get the, them into a communication. So if, you, if they ask questions, if they recommend, if they post, if they share, if they like, you can build up a conversation. And uh, if you are going further, if you want to sell something, it's the same thing. So um, we are used to have a catalog. Maybe it's a digital catalog, but it's still a catalog with rooms and prices. Um, and you have to change it into a community. When you remember what, uh, what the reason is why Airbnb is working so good, they are building a community, they are building a relationship between the host and the guest. So it's more community than a shop. And if you are doing a good job, they are loyal. So they are coming back, they like you, they recommend you. And this is how we have to change our mind. And um, this is how we see the world. So I think it's not a matter of how good you communicate, um, it, you have a database and put all your information in and you have a, a certain uh, area where you can manage or communicate. But the, the biggest part is the communication of the user itself. So if, if, if they like it, if, if you have done a good job, they, if, if, you have, if they have a great experience, they will take over the marketing and they will tell it uh, to the friends and to, the, to their audience. And uh, this is a storytelling of the users, and actually this is what we have to strive for. And uh, this changes the roles in the tourism destinations a bit. Um, if you want to have your time back for your actual tasks, um, so this is the thing that we could do. We take care about all the, all the uh, technology, and uh, we are giving our customers the time back to manage their brand, the community, and, and so on, their values. And uh, this is how it looks like when we draw it on a map. So we, we are trying to build a holistic destination management system. And holistic means it's your part of the world, it's, uh, but you have also connections to the others, to connections to your inhabitants, and, uh, and, and all the organizations are taking part of your 
destinations uh, communication. And um, this is our product. So we have built a product. It, we call it Destination Suite. It's all in one place. We are taking care about all the technology. We are also taking care about the content management, the content distribution. And uh, it's also, it, it, it's still the client's database. So it's your database when you are a destination. So we do not uh, take over your data. We are managing it, and we are distributing it through our platform, through our content marketing network, which is our partners. And we also uh, have an open data marketing or, or open data distribution channel for the data you, you make open. And there's another thing that I want to talk uh, about. It's all the big platforms are building travel guides, not only us. We are a very small fish in the, in the, in the, in the sea, but uh, all the big players are building uh, travel guides, and they need finally the data. And this is where we come from. We are coming actually from the unsexy side at the right end. Uh, we have been caring about the data which is not bookable, which is not uh, have to be paid for, and all the big players coming from the from the bookable content. And um, so we are we are taking a intermediate role. Um, we are managing the destinations content and the technology, and we are trying to distribute it to everybody who wants the content. It's not all of them are taking directly the content, but we are preparing the content. Some of them are we are already delivering the content to. And uh, on the other hand side, we are trying to personalize the content. So this is my profile page on OutDirective. This is all the things that OutDirective already knows, it, and some more. And if you are, a, for instance, a mountain biker and you click five times on mountain bike, I know that you are a mountain biker and the platform knows it, and it doesn't show you wellness offers anymore. It shows you probably on, the, on your next visit mountain bike content. And uh, it does it all over all the devices. And it, no matter which device, no matter which, um, which channel you use, it's always you. And when you are recognized, we can um, show you the right things. And then that leads us to a really um, future-oriented uh, thing. So we are collecting tons of data. We are collecting the usage of the data. We know where the user have been. We know the interest of the user. And we can make reports like this, for instance, for bicycle. And we can show it on a, on a single bicycle trail how many people have been riding there at, this, at a certain day in the past year and we can make predictions for the next year. So this is the thing that we, are, that we will be working on for the, for the next years, and um, the, it's very interesting, very exciting, and it will be very um, strong in the future. But the bad news is you have to work. So it's not paying a software, buying a software, and uh, running a database. You have to fill it, you have to work, you have to manage your experience, you have to talk to your users. It's a big change that is uh, coming. And if you want to hear some takeaways, I have brought some takeaways like the um, um, to-dos. And uh, the first thing is to leave the comfort zone, to change things and build digital leadership. Otherwise, you will not um, survive in, in, in the future world. And the next thing is just put all the content you have in one database, not five, one. And um, then you have to digitalize your part of the work completely. And uh, completely means every piece of data, every waterfall, and every opening hour, and everything in English. And this is digitalizing completely. And the next thing is you have to distribute your data. It doesn't work if the rights of the photographers are not allowing data distribution. So you have to be, uh, you have to care about that to make your data as open enough to be distributed. And then you have to digitalize the guests, you give them incentives like uh, rebates or whatever to get their data, the, to get the address. Maybe they want to cut the log or to buy something, and then you get users' data, and then you can build user profiles, and then you can manage data and do not send out marketing messages, you manage data in the future. And then you can measure it. If you have the data and you have the experience and you have the data usage, you can measure it, you can put it on the map, you can track it over the year. 
and you can make predictions. And then you can also manage growth, you can build your own DNA, you can build your different DNA than the other destination. And then you can attract the guests that fit to your DNA uh, better than everybody is the greatest hiking destination. And then you have to care about your residents, you bring them value, you make them earn more money to, to change the mind, and then they will be your ambassadors, and then they will carry your uh, message through the web. And then you can improve the experience, it's kind of a loop, and it's, it's growing to the top, and you get to the digital experience, to the real experience, back to the digital experience, and then you have reached the goal. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, um, Hartmut. This was your applause. I Thank think you. we are running out of time, therefore we have no questions at the moment um, uh, allowed here, but you will be around. I will be around. So invite him for a coffee or something like that this around is my the email. corner. And, um, Thank you for that. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure.